Lesson 57 is on addition of algebraic expressions that contain negative exponents. Let's just go ahead and work some practice problems to understand this lesson. And you see this problem right here. I want you to add those two terms together, x to the minus 1, y squared, minus 2x to the minus 2. Well, you might think, well, I really can't do any addition there. But you can because you have those negative exponents, which you can change to positive exponents. And then you'll end up with fractions. And then you can add them together and get one common denominator. So let's just rewrite this with the exponents positive, y squared over x minus 2 over x squared. OK, so now you can see that you have two fractions. And you can add those together. The common denominator here would be x squared. So we need to multiply on the left by x over x. And so when we do that, we end up with x squared as our denominator. And then we'll have xy squared minus 2 as the numerator. On these problems, when you see a problem like this in the lessons, they'll usually tell you to write the answer with all exponents positive. That's a hint to go ahead and change all the exponents to positive, And then you'll recognize that you have fractions. Then you need to add the fractions together by getting common denominators first. Let's do another one. Cx to the minus 3, y to the minus 1, plus ab to the minus 2. Let's add those together. First thing we need to do is make the exponents positive. Then we'll recognize that we have fractions. So we have c over x cubed y plus a over b squared. Okay. Now we need to get a common denominator. And we can go ahead and write that over to the side. That would be b squared x cubed y. That would be our common denominator. So let's go ahead and multiply the first term by b squared over b squared. And that would get us that denominator. And then the second term, we need to multiply by x cubed y over x cubed y. Okay, So now we can go ahead and add the numerators together. Let's write our denominator down here, b squared x cubed y. And then our numerator, that'll be b squared c plus a x cubed y. So again, in the lessons and on your tests, you'll see these problems. They'll say to add them together, and they'll ask you to write the answer with all exponents positive. That's a hint to go ahead and change all the exponents to positive first. Then you'll see that you have fractions, and then you'll know Oh, I need to add those together. Okay, well, that's all for lesson 57.